Today is the day we turn this all black PC into this all white case for Monte. Since this is the last time you will probably ever see this PC in my setup, we're gonna have a moment of silence to appreciate this all black PC. Bro, imagine if I go through all of this and at the end the PC just doesn't even turn on or even worse, it turns on, but then there's just a big problem that we can't even figure out and I basically have to take it to a whole shop or something or Imagine if this is foreshadowing. Yum, yum, yum. All right, so I'm super excited to see how these black parts will look in this all white case. But there are two things that I will not be moving. For one, I'm not dragging this dusty old six or 700 watt power supply into the new build or this broken AIL, AIL cooler or this broken AII, 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 or this broken AIO. Oh, that's how we say it. Or this broken AIO cooler. Why you may ask? Well, my friends, my computer parts, such as my mouse and my keyboard and all wireless things keep on just basically disconnecting randomly. And I'm pretty sure it's because of this power hungry setup that I have going on here. And the power supply is just not enough. So big shout out to Montac for sending me this 1000 oh watt PSU. Yes, that's right. I'm probably not gonna have to upgrade this for the next decade. And as for the cooler, well, the LCD just literally does not work i mean i've tried so many things i've even tried hitting it it just will not turn on so i just use it for mirror selfies so that's why we're getting rid of them and since i'm on a budget i got this budget cooler from thermolite it's affordable all white and it has an lcd that actually works all right enough without a yapping oh my god i hope this freaking glass table doesn't break all right, so this is what we're looking at without the pc black white black white Black. All right, so we're gonna obviously start off by taking off the graphics card. Wow. And then of course we're gonna take out this broken cooler. And then the last thing is taking out the motherboard and that's pretty much it, man. Cause I mean, I'm leaving the fans in there. I'm leaving the power supply cause everything else is being replaced. Okay, so with everything laid out, let's get these components settled into their new home in that Montac King Pro case. It's literally one screw and the panel pops right off. So first thing I'm gonna do is put in this AIO, coo AIO cooler. Oh my god. And obviously we gotta put the motherboard in there first, you know what I mean? Record that TikTok video too. And for some reason, my RAM sticks just it straight up attacked me and I started no. bleeding everywhere and freaking blood was all over the fans. Anyways, I decided to add some white extension cables. I wanted to get the RGB ones, but maybe next time, bro, when I save up some money, man. Of course, we gotta add the extension tables. Extension tables to the... Of course, we gotta extend the tables. And let me tell you, the size of this case, I mean, it's a builder's dream, bro. Like, I, I, I had no problem building this thing. It's just so spacious. And then, of course, we had to plug all the cables in and then last but not least... We gotta put that graphics card in there, boy. And man, honestly, this thing is already looking so freaking nice, bruh. But before we turn it on and see if this thing even works, we have some decisions to make. Go down in the comments and let me know which of these black parts that we're gonna replace next. Hold on, hold on. This may look good, but wait till you hear how loud the fans are. Yeah, so after spending hours on this thing, I decided to take it to a real PC nerd. I'm not gonna lie, bro. I'm, I actually almost started crying here, man, driving to these guys. Long story short, these guys took like $60 from me just to tell me that it was actually the fan.